and welcome back and we are here in the present so yeah we can so what are you the chicago manual of thermodynamic flux induction circuit design great stuff and you are it's from george's hardware george says that every american should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement Okay. Let's send that back. And let's take you out. Right, so before I forget. I wanted to bring the music down just a smidgen. Um, about that, yeah. Right, so what a heck of trouble have you in? So we have tentacle guard, switch. Cards, woman, guy, old man. Probably Mart. I think they're both cheating. I think they're both cheating. Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. <laughs> nice to meet you. Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only human. Okay, so he's not happy. Best not bother them, they're busy cheating. Uh, Zed? I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only human. Okay. Can we pick them up? Hey, they can cheat, you can't! Okay, let's have a chat with you. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Get me out of here! This is a violation of my rights. Rights? You're a human. You don't have any rights. I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Okay. Cup toilet. Use toilet. Nope. Skip. 
scalpel. Okay, you have a scalpel. Why do you have a scalpel? It's unplugged. I need to plug that in, but I don't think it's long enough to reach anywhere. Okay. So let's have a look around with you. Uh. Hey, Dr. Fred. We have to do something. What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit, no power for the chronogons! A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world! It's a dark day for mad science! Why can't we just fix the time machine? It needs a whole new diamond! Now where am I going to get the money? Bake sale? Do you realize how much a diamond costs? Two months of the groom's salary? Two million dollars! So, you've got money, don't you? Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. We had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet. Uh, if only I had signed that contract in time. What contract? Well, after that incident where I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, somebody decided to make a show about us, but they didn't pay us anything. All we got was a cut of the video game. Wow, that thing made millions. Yes, I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. Okay... Let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign it. I forgot the combination. But that's... that's so stupid, Dr. Fred. I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the safe, but I find something horrible inside and slam it shut. Over and over again, night after night. Is that why you drink so much coffee? I haven't slept in two years! Okay... You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. Sorry, coffee jitters. Maybe you should switch to decaf. No! Then I'd fall asleep and the dreams would come. Okay... How's the mad scientist biz? Not too lucrative lately. We're living mostly on the income from renting out our mansion. That and Edna's tips from her exotic dancing. We have to do something. Yes, we have to get a new diamond. What if we unpollute the river? I could just shut off my sludge-o-matic machine, but it's too late. You have a machine whose sole function is producing toxic waste? You can't have a high-tech laboratory like this and not spew poisonous filth. All the other mad scientists would laugh. How about catching Purple Tentacle? He's long gone, probably taking over the world as we speak. Okay. Speaking, well, English, I guess. Isn't there anything we can do? Go diamond shopping. Call me when you get a diamond. Get away from that. Okay. We're probably going to need that then. Right, so... Door... We're 
bank book. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Uh, can we open? But what? It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Okay. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. I don't have time for that now. I'm on a mission. I don't have time for that now. I'm on a mission. Calendar. Wow, Vader. it's from my favorite movie. I have three just like it at home. Okay. Um... Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. I'm in the same place. <laughs> okay, we have a safe. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Right, so that's that. Have a dime up the stock there. Ooh, this is getting worse. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Okay. Let's go lighter. Hey boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night at the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. I see teeth. Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Corleone? That's strange. My wife says I look like Charles Lawton. Oh, want a cigar? <laughs> Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! It's a bad habit. Bonnie. That cracks me up every time. Okay. Can we pick it up? Hands off, boy! That's a precision made novelty device. It's covered with unrecognizable, useless. Okay. It's gonna be disgusting mounts of party garbage. Disgusting. Yikes. Missed. Okay. I can't get hold of it. I can't get hold of it. Looks like they all escaped. Okay. So we have some chattering teeth. Hmm. Air conditioning, I guess. If we go here. No, okay. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Okay. I hate that clown. Swing door. Bork. Microwave. Coffee. Decaf coffee. 
His supply. Open. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. Okay. Uh, can we open you? Bundle. Coin slot. There's nothing in there to dry. Okay, so we've got a method of drying something. It looks pretty broken. Okay. Can we open you? Okay, we have a method for drying something. We just need um, the coin off the floor. Diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of two million dollars. The number to call is 1 800 Star Wars. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. Okay, sweater. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. Okay. And we have another coin slot. fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look as we'll come back to that okay it is open let's be en energy saving mmm that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Okay. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. That's not good. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Disappearing ink. Picture of dogs playing phone leftovers. It doesn't seem to open. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? Okay. Astute shoulders and long face? I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I 
like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. What did you say your job was again? I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. Okay. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. Okay. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Well, maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Uh. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Okay. Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along those lines. Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Okay. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevator Classics series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Uh, never mind. Okay, so we've got to make him happy so we can get in. Uh, let's open you. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's going to go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Intoxicating three-part vocal harmony? Volume, man! Volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Okay, that's interesting. So we can play music. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. That's great. Yeah. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. It's getting back out of it is hard. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Okay, so we, um... It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Okay... Uh-oh, this looks like it might work. Let's... I don't need to take over the world. 
No, but it'd be handy to show other people. Okay. It's too heavy for me to pick up. It's too heavy for me to pick up. That's facing directly Maybe down. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed it. No, the stereo would fall. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, videotape. There's no label. It's probably blank. Okay. Wow. This is loud. Okay. Uh, let's turn that off. Whew. So we have a new thing in the lobby, which was on the ceiling that I didn't notice. Uh, let's open this door. Okay. It's signed, Edna, thanks for giving me the fever. Ooh, baby, what a man. You ain't kidding, precious. It's Dr. Fred's office. Nothing going on in there. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Yes, that's right. I knew it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? Um... I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice! How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. Okay. How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers the combination to the safe. I find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. So if we can get him to sleep, he'll sleepwalk and open the safe. Okay. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. Okay, so we need to be able to get in here to watch videotape. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> Okay, mad as a hatter. So what's the point of flipping the statue? Through through emerald stolen. Circular print. Okay, so he's stolen an emerald now. Hey, aren't you weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? 
Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benuli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Okay, I have a funny feeling we've got to rob him of that. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a bird bath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Okay. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Keith be with you. Okay. Computer. I've got one just like this packed away in the garage. <laughs> okay. So if I want to, I can play Manic Mansion in here. Whoa. How do we... Okay. So it's literally got Manic Mansion inside it. I might actually tackle that at some point. Make a permanent save so I can come back to that. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. Okay. the stairway. Okay, this is ominous. There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous in there. open okay push the bed I wouldn't want to strain myself I don't see anything else crank hmm a handle attached to a rotating shaft which transmits and modifies rotary motion and torque And a pulley again. Wow, a pulley. By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing... Let's look the at the Ooh, lights. Oh, a keen Christmas lights. Okay. So we need a flag. Chimney should put me down where I want to be. Yep. I can 
pick this up? I think it's fake. Okay, so I think that's where I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching. Till next time, have a good one. Oh yeah, and I'm really going to enjoy this gypsy tart.